Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. James Spilling here once again for those that love sound music and stuff. Now, I'm playing with an instrument today that is new to me. It hasn't, it's not new, 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 but it's new to me. So in the world of jazz and big band writing, I'm forever in search of instruments uh, that sound great out of the box. It is notoriously hard to sample big band instruments and make them sound good. So I was web browsing the other day and uh, I came across this uh, new to me company's uh, straight ahead samples. And in particular, I saw this Tenor Colossus instrument and I thought, I need to give this go. And in particular, their uh, individual to them, their smart delay. It's basically, it's a very clever way of playing samples. Um, and um, But the proof is in the pudding and I need to show you what I've done. So when you write an instrument and then you put it into MIDI, and you get a, I don't know, a saxophone library to play it, it sounds, it can sound pretty naff until you spend hours and hours and hours with key switches, layering, dynamics, and all of this. Um, but this instrument, uh, spoiler alert, has saved me a ton of time. Um, and it sounds... Anyway, I need to show you what I've done. What I have done is I've written two little tenor tracks and layered them on an already existing recording that I've done uh, to a video link above. Um, so I'll show you this instrument um, and in particular the smart delay because this is, for me, the game changer. Um, anyway, without further ado, here is Tenor Colossus. So this is Tenor Colossus. This is for the contact player. Um, you have one NKI. This is it. So out of the box, it sounds uh, like a, another sax library that's pretty half decent. So uh, you've got your uh, articulations down here, um, half steps, uh, uh, doit, here we go. Full. Flop. Yeah. Gliss runs. Yeah, so fairly self-explanatory in all of these. Up here, you have further control. Up here, hard velocity, because long scoop. Uh, where's the scoop on this one? And a short. Yeah, a little. Doop. That's quite cool. A vibrato on and off. Uh, dynamics mod wheel or key velocity. Blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, sound. So you have mics here. Uh, room. Here we go. Turn it close down. Turn that off. This is the bleed mic. Which is really quite nice. Um, and you can pan these all and it's all very cool and blah, blah, blah. So this is the real time and smart delay button that I was talking about. Now, let me just show you uh, this in action. So what I've done is I've written in Sibelius two tenor lines. Here we go. Um, over uh, basically the intro and... Uh, the middle section. So what I then did is I exported the MIDI out of Sibelius and put it into Pro Tools. Here we go. So here are the MIDIs. Um, I've put them uh, on one tenor there and another one there and I've panned one to the left slightly and one to the right slightly. Here are the instruments. Here we go. I've, put, I've given it natural tenor and uh, live and open. Now what that means is it's just changed uh, the, the mic setup ever so slightly. Oh, I didn't actually talk about the control tab either, but I have I, honestly I haven't used it. Um, just saying, uh, miscellaneous legato, vibrato, all of that. You can MIDI assign all of these and all of that. Anyway, performance. Um, so you know what we're playing with. Uh, this is the middle section of the track. For those that haven't seen the video, uh, this is me singing. I used to make sure I could knock on wood and you'd find me. I never did like 13, we'd never meet on a Friday. Yeah, um, I'm just going to get rid of the vocals. Now this, um, I'm going to put the tenor one and tenor two in. This is purely the MIDI that's exported with swing uh, from Sibelius. So I haven't need to so I haven't needed to quantize it. Um, but this is it.
Um, so actually, it doesn't sound too bad, really. Um, but this is where the magic happens. What you do is you put it onto Smart Delay. Okay, so again, and it tells you that you have to, um, it's going to be delayed by four beats. So what you do, because I've got other instruments, I'm going to put it back four beats. So this is with Smart Delay, okay? Wait for it. Um, I was totally blown away by that, to be honest. So I then put it through the same uh, reverbs and um, plates as I had done for the rhythm section, and this is it. I mean, what's not to like? Now, oh, pardon me. Now, then what I did, as you can probably see these little dots, I did actually go through and just put it in just a few key switches to make it just, I don't know, have a little bit more uh, realism, if you want it anymore. So these are my key switches. Uh, unmute. And that's it. Um, so if you take aside the fact that I wasted time um, being impressed and going, this is so cool, um, the time taken from importing it to to putting smart delay on uh to putting it through the same reverbs and then to putting these few key switches in probably took between five and ten minutes which would have taken a lot longer with other instruments so next i'm just gonna um put the quantize on and uh so now this is with all the little different articulations that I've added. There aren't many, but here we go. I mean, seriously, I'm so, so uh, impressed with this smart delay thing. It's just, why did I not know about it before? Anyway, um, I, I'm spreading the love, people. I'm spreading the word. Straight ahead samples. I think, um, I mean, they even, they even say it, the new standard. Last bit, I'm going to still use these quantized. And this is with me. I used to make sure I could knock on wood and you'd find me I never did like 13, we'd never meet on a Friday I'd always avoid a crack, make sure I'm back before a clock would chime but when I stopped, guess who popped into my life? So I'm done and dusted with those rituals I'm done and dusted, they made no sense at all For on the day you came and said my name Followed by I do I had stepped in a crack and I've never looked back for you I mean, yes, it's a little bit busier um, in the uh, saxes than I probably would have written, but uh, I got carried away because, um, yeah, I just wanted to show what this instrument can do, and it sounds fabulous.
If you use this for a mock-up, I think everyone would be happy. So if you like this, if you like what I do, please like, please give it a subscribe, please ring the bell, you'll be notified of stuff that I do in the future. Um, so straight ahead samples, bowing, thumbs up, and yeah, I'm, I, I love it. So until the next time, for more time-saving, fab-sounding instruments, uh, stay well, stay safe, see you later, bye.